Welcome to a life of pain. Today I'm going solo for a little bit. Usually there's always somebody here and today there's not, it's just me. Um, so I'm gonna get some stuff done and I wanna show you guys what some of that stuff is. I wanna get this garage in order. I almost got to where I want it. Um, I'll show you condensed all of those, just some miscellaneous landing stuff. Move the fridge over here put the futon from Landon's room. I'm thinking we'll do the man cave. Somewhere on this wall, put a TV. So one thing I started doing like about a year ago, kayak fishing, it's a lot more work. The guys that are serious kayak uh, anglers, uh, more, my hat's off to you. It's just, uh, it's just really not for me. It's just, uh, I don't know enough about fishing and the spots and tides and currents. I've taken this kayak to a lot of places and, uh, but it's just, I hung it up there and, and I haven't moved it. It's been about a year, so probably use this, get rid of the kayak, use it for something else, you know, cause we don't have a very big house. So space is very limited. This big old kayak, it's just, it's in the way. One of the projects Anna wants me to do for this winter is get rid of that and that. She wants it gone. I don't know what I'm going to put there, but for now, I'm gonna just gut it, rip it out. But one thing I wanna show you that's uh, a little, gonna make this a little difficult is this vine. It's like, this vine is like buried inside here. Well, just wear gloves, Joe. I don't have gloves, okay? So all I have is a, is a spade shovel. So I think I'm gonna struggle with this one. So uh, let's get this started. GoPro, start recording. All right, I wanna show you what I'm working with here. So, there's all these rocks all along here. Now, uh, last year we removed a whole bunch of stuff here and all the rocks. I get why the rocks are there. We don't have gutters, so the water is just gonna come right off the roof, hit the ground, and create an erosion. So we left some rocks there, and I get the rocks here it's gonna make digging these things out just that much more difficult. Plus then I got rocks. I'm going to try and dig that stuff up. A little bit more difficult than I thought, but yeah, now I just gotta figure out what I wanna put there. Probably should have thought that one out a little before I started tearing this up. So that one's done. I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave that one for now. I don't wanna totally, completely turn my yard into some, you know, trailer home, but I gotta clean up the mountain, the mountain of mess right now. So I won't bring you guys along for that one either. I don't know if this will show up on here. It's February and I broke up a sweat. It's muggy out. There's no air circulation whatsoever. There's no wind. It's like 70 degrees out. I'm sweaty working in my yard, but I'm oddly okay with that. I love it. I think it's awesome. All right, looking for things to do while I'm home alone. Let's sight in the pellet gun. We've got some critters, as you know, that the, uh, you know, raccoon. Uh, I saw a possum the other night, which wasn't a big deal now, but it could be down the road. So we need to sight in the uh, little Crossman pellet gun. Let's do it. Let's see how we did it. 25 feet. 
Might need to make a few adjustments. All right, so the GoPro is giving me grief, but I'll show you how good we got it. So this was the first grouping, pulled it in, shrunk it up to here, and now I got three shots here and a shot there. So it's as accurate, I think, as a 750 feet per second BB gun is gonna get. But it'll get the job done for little mice and rats and I don't think I'm gonna be taking out a raccoon with it. I'll have to up the game on that one, but that's what a 22 is for. So, uh, got that done. Mom and the baby are back and we're about to get our uh, evening started. So I've had the flu, Anna's back, and now she is I'm not that germy, am I? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. No lip from you. What? So, what do you do at 5 o'clock on Super Bowl Sunday? You go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go buy crafts. Craft things. For what? To put vinyl on to sell, maybe. So, part of our money making scheme. Uh, we did floor mats. No, floor mat. Door mats. We've done doormats. We did a couple for ours. Turned out pretty good. But we're gonna go to Home Depot, Lowe's, look for anything that we can put, slap some vinyl on and make a buck. So, let's go. So with this vinyl machine, we can put stuff on here. We can put people's initials, I guess. I don't know, we're still just kind of finding our niche with this vinyl cutter machine. And there's just so much you can do with it. It's just trying to find that one thing that we'll end up doing and then uh, we can sell. You know, it's gotta be cost efficient. It can't be very much money, you know, material wise. Cause uh, once you print this vinyl, you have to like pick it, you know, like weed it. And uh, the harder the engine, <laughs> she's judging me while I'm talking to you guys. But, you know, it's it's a little bit more intricate than, you know, picking apart this stuff. So it can be labor intensive, the more difficult the design is. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll have to just narrow it down and find something that we can make a buck on. So we'll start with these plaques. I guess you can serve them as like, maybe like turn it into a, a serving tray. I don't know, what kind of stain are you getting? I like this one. Classic gray. Let's do it. Do I need something on top? A coat? No. Okay, sorry. Here, hold the receipt. She's like... <laughs> So we're just gonna hang out in by ourselves tonight and I'm gonna do some pizza. I'm gonna bring you guys uh, along with me. Just like that, dinner is ready. Game is on right now. Everybody is eating or has already ate. And uh, we'll just sign off here. Thanks for watching A Life of Pain.
Lay down. We'll go to bed. <laughs>